हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम कमिंग विद क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन ऑफ पाथ फाइंडर न्यूटन लॉज ऑफ मोशन सो व्हाट इज द वर्डिंग ऑफ द क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन इज सीइंग दैट टू ब्लॉक्स ए एंड बी ऑफ मासस थ्री के जी सिक्स के जी रिस्पेक्टिवली आर सस्पेंडेड एट द एंड्स ऑफ द लाइट इन एक्सटेंसिबल कॉट द कॉट पासिस ओवर एन आइडियल पुली पी फिक्स टू द सीलिंग Ends of the another light inextensible cord are attached to the bottom of the blocks. This cord supported supports another ideal pulley Q, which from which a block C of mass four kg is suspended as shown in the figure. So this mass is four kg. This mass is three kg, and this mass is six kg. It is given in this question. so suspended as shown initially the system is held in motionless and then released which of the following conclusion can you make acceleration due to gravity is 10 meter per second square okay so for the better understanding see this problem so this is the one pulley is like this and from this pulley there is two uh, there is two connected blocks are connected one is a block the mass of the block a is 3 kg and another block is b the mass of block b is 6 kg so one block is 3 kg mass of m a is 3 kg and m b is 6 kg now what is happening another string is connected with the pulley another pulley there is another pulley here that the strings are connected like this and with this pulley one of the mass is connected this mass is c mass so mass of this c is given in this question it is equal to 4 kg so and mass of c is equal to 4 kg so my dear friend we can say that here there is a different different strings are used and different masses are also used so here the tension t is developed so here tension t is here t is here and t is also here and another string the tension is t prime t prime t prime and t prime tension is used is it clear let us assume the heavier block is going down and upper block is going up with an acceleration a according to the simple because length is constant so here you can say that the mcz is downward which is equal to 2t prime so in case of equilibrium of c the mcg is equal to 2t prime on this basis you can say that sir mcg is 4 and 40 is equal to 2t prime so t prime is equal to 20 20 newton now from a bd of a if i want to draw the free body diagram of a so a one force is acting in this direction that is called t other force is acting downward that is called t prime and mg is also acting downward so it is mag and this is going up with an acceleration a so we can write the equation of motion that is called t minus t prime minus mag is equal to ma now we want to draw the free body diagram of b block also so a bd of b is so in a bd of b one force is acting upward that is called tension t other one is acting downward that is called t prime plus mbg and this is going down with an acceleration so what is the next equation we can write t prime plus mbg minus t is equal to 
एम बी ए माई डियर फ्रेंड इफ वी एड दीज टू इक्वेशंस इफ वी एड दीज टू इक्वेशंस फॉर एडिंग दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर वन दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर टू इफ वी एड दीज टू इक्वेशंस देन यू कैन राइट द टी एंड टी इज कैंसिल आउट टी प्राइम टू टी प्राइम कैंसिल आउट इट इज एम बी माइनस एम ई इन टू जी इज इक्वल टू एम बी प्लस एम ई इन टू ए सो फाइनली द एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ द सिस्टम इज और द ब्लॉक ए एंड बी इज एम बी इज नथिंग बट इट इज इक्वल टू सिक्स माइनस थ्री इन टू टेन डिवाइडेड बाई नाइन सो आंसर इज थर्टी बाई नाइन और यू कैन से दैट द टेन बाई थ्री मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर सो सी इज एट रेस्ट बट ए एंड बी आर मूविंग विद एन एक्सेलरेशन टेन बाई थ्री मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर ओके नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट द टेंशन ऑल्सो सो टी माइनस टी प्राइम माइनस थर्टी इज इक्वल टू थ्री इंटू टेन बाई थ्री सो ऑफकोर्स दिस दिस कैंसिल आउट सो टी माइनस टी प्राइम माइनस थर्टी सॉरी इक्वल टू टेन प्लस थर्टी इज फोर्टी सो टी माइनस फोर्टी इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी न्यूटन सॉरी टी प्राइम इज ट्वेंटी न्यूटन सो टी प्राइम इज ट्वेंटी न्यूटन सो हेयर इट इज ट्वेंटी so you can say that the tension in the lower upper string is 60 newton so these are the answers so now i want to go with the options number 1 all blocks remains motionless it is completely wrong because all blocks are not motionless except c a and b are in moving so acceleration of magnitude of block a and b is 10 by 3 meter per second square while c is remains motionless so answer b is correct tensile force in the upper and the lower chord are 40 newton and 20 newtons so i calculate the upper chord chord tension is 60 newton and lower chord is 20 newton so tensile force in the upper end this this also is also wrong the ten, next option is tensile force in the upper and the lower chords are 60 newton and 20 newtons so correct answer is d so question number 9 the answer is b and d thank you so much for watching this video